We're here with uh, Yasser Arif. He works with the IM project, um, specifically in Egypt. It's a fascinating project. It's, it makes um, augmented reality projections, huge projections that bring history to life um, and turn static, uh, famous and important historical sites into something more. Um, Mr. Arif can tell us more. Yes, we have this uh, uh, project, uh, uh, the fantastic part about the project because it in introduces a new technology. It enables people to see the heritage in a, a very new and attractive way because people see the historic sites uh, in a static uh, way but having this uh, uh, augmented reality technology, it enables people to see the heritage sites in a new and uh, attractive way. They have not seen these sites before. And uh, among this project, among the partners, we held like technical workshops in order to introduce these new technologies and transfer the know-how, how, how to apply these uh, technologies, because relatively these technologies are very new all over the world, and uh, specifically in the Mediterranean, in the south of Mediterranean countries, th this is like uh, very new. So the project helps us in Egypt to know about these new technologies and how to apply them. And we have already applied them in the Alexandria video mapping project last May, and it was a huge success because people has never seen this technology before, or has never seen their sites or historic sites in this new way. Okay, now um, these projections are done usually after dark. Um, they uh, they create a, a spectacle in the in the center of town. I mean. What, what has been the result of this? How has this helped tourism in Alexandria? In fact, Alexandria specifically is a one-day visit. It's, uh, uh, people come to Alexandria from Cairo on a one-day visit basis. So having this night activity, in, uh, as in the projection and video mapping, it's an activity that takes place at night. So it allows people to stay overnight and uh, stay the night. And so this maximizes the uh, tourism impact because it uh, changes Alexandria from a one-day destination to one-night destination. So this has a multiplier effect on the tourism and the local economy. So this is one of the good sides of the project or in introducing this new technology. And But, but I want to add that uh, augmented reality is not only limited to video mapping and video projection. It has many other applications like uh, like like the Google Glass and the immersive environments and the handheld application in tablets and iPhones and things. Th these are all aspects or applications of augmented reality. But in Alexandria, we applied the video mapping. In other uh, partners' uh, project, they apply the different technologies. So we have like a spectrum of applying different technologies of augmented reality into different environments and this is one of the good aspects that we, we will end up with a big network with different experience in applying the technology. So we, 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 we do want to be as a starting point or an expert hub for any people in any other country who wants to apply the same technology. So we have the experience, a wide experience over the project span. This is one of the good things of the project. Okay, so then you, you're using what you've learned to, to achieve a, a wide range of effects for enhancing tourism. Yes, we uh, are trying to do this and I, I think we succeeded to some extent in applying this and we still have one year of the project uh, time span to enhance and elaborate and expand our activities. Good luck with the, the rest of the work and the rest of the conference and thank you for coming. Okay, thank you, sir.